bald for Bean, the Homestead football family standing behind its head coach during a tough time. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper tells us why bald heads and the color pink were a popular look at tonight's game. Six seconds of time, 100 miles an hour. It's Friday in Fort Wayne, and that means high school football. But outside of the game, this is no ordinary Friday for the Homestead football family. Hey, what would you want out of you right now? Tonight, Homestead was without head coach Chad Zolman. Chad's eight-year-old daughter, Molly, or Bean, as she's better known, has been battling epilepsy and seizures for three years. On Thursday, she underwent brain surgery in Cleveland to locate the problem. Before that surgery, Molly had to do something no eight-year-old girl ever wants to do. She had to shave her head. To help her along, Daddy followed suit. So did the other coaches and then the players. They have been nothing but supportive. and not, The things that they do have, have just, um, just blown us away as a family. During tonight's game, the players and coaches showed off those bald heads. They also strapped on some pink around the wrists and ankles. Kind of brings you back to into perspective, the fact that this is a game, even though we love it and we work hard at it, it's a game and some things are a little bit more important than football sometimes. Oftentimes the word family is cliche in sports, but not with this group. We're all brothers on the team and Coach Z is like a father figure to us, so we're going to support him in what he does. It's a typical Friday night here at Homestead, but there's a lot more than football weighing on the hearts and minds of these players and coaches. Hopefully it can uh, help him through this rough time. Um, I know it's going to be really rough for him, so we're just hoping to give him all the support that we can. Of course the game must go on, and it did as Homestead got a big homecoming win. But there's no doubt Molly will be etched on the minds of this bunch as she recovers. There's no doubt that Molly and Chad and, and uh, the whole Zolman family will be in our thoughts. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15. Coach Zolman told us that Molly isn't really feeling well after the surgery, but that doctors say everything is going as planned.